2022 Super Aeronautique G23 Paragon. Stunning boat in onyx black hull in rear stripe, haze gray main stripe, victory red interior deck, the two tone telescoping flight control tower in black in victory red and when i said onyx black i meant jet black because they changed the name <laughs> for 2022 but man look at this thing sitting on a triple axle boatmate trailer with 18 inch uh, moto metal wheels this thing is stunning we'll take a peek at the interior here in a minute but quite the color scheme going on in this paragon it's going to have the standard bimini top with surf pockets up top there um, telescoping tower folds into itself so it folds straight up and down um, if you check out our listing i'm going to have some photos of the tower in the folded position um, so you can check that out and get a better look but for now let's take a walk around the paragon it has 30% window tint. When we get up close on this window, this windshield, you can see this beautiful red accent that rolls right up from the interior deck seamlessly into the windshield. They've cleverly um, included your nav lights there on the uh, windshield. And it's kind of like a cutoff windshield. So you've got this beautiful vinyl wrap that rolls into the exterior of the boat. And this is in um, jet black softmax, namespaced there for a second. And our beautiful Nautique Chromax. You can see our tower base, it's beautiful details all around the exterior of the boat. Shares a hull with the G23, so same running surface, essentially the same boat from the rub rail down. This has been ceramic coated with IGL ceramic coating on the exterior for easy cleanup. We also did the black Chromax option on here, so your G23 Paragon logos are in black as well to match everything. Up front. We got our daytime running lights slash docking lights for nighttime. Nice three-step ladder up here in the bow. Nice and low profile so you can get the really long um, breakaway tongue for storage. Spare wheel up front. Walking down the starboard side, you're going to see these beautiful body lines that they run. Not only for styling, but for rigidity but super mean looking color combo on this with the blood red victory red interior paired with the black super stealthy looking um, big fan Nautique surf system equipped we also have the Nautique integrated steer assist option there with the thruster A pair of underwater lights hiding back behind we're running the surf pipe exhaust and the 17 by 17 inch prop. Trailer's going to have the matching sea deck in charcoal all down the steps. And then those slimline tail lights, which look really cool. Um, we also have the ladder right here, platform ladder. Folds out, flips down. And that's probably a pretty good look at the outside. I think it looks amazing. But let's get inside where all the cool stuff is. And there you have it. Solid victory red interior. We went pretty aggressive with this color scheme, but I really like how it turned out. This is probably one of my favorite boats we've had in a while. And we've had good feedback. Red's not for everyone, but... Uh, I really like the way it turned out. It fits this boat really well. Um, so yeah, the interior, solid victory red. On your main, your seat boxing, your accents are gonna be in black. 
which is the black soft max material that we saw kind of up here on the uh, side panels up on the gunnel. Matched with your charcoal C-deck. It's got that nice light striping to it, which makes it pop really nicely. Um, now let's go through the features. First off, we've got these nice big seats in the back on each corner. And you're gonna see vented here for our JL wake sub. So there's a subwoofer down under here in each corner. Let's go ahead and flip this open to our storage. So man, if you're surfing, wakeboarding, can be right here, hop right back into the onto the platform of the boat, load your gear right into the interior without having to climb in and do anything. You just hit the latch right here with your foot, storage pops open, and there you have it. We've got a couple fenders stashed in there right now as well as our table. It's got a nice storage spot right there for the table and the arm for the table. We also have leaf in there. A Paragon favorite. The huge lounge seats here in the back. So those things flip up. You have an adjustable headrest on the back there. And just a super cool, comfy spot to hang out. Got your cup holders. You've got a nice padded spot for your feet. And you can just kick back, relax, and hang out, swim. Do whatever you want on the back of the Paragon. When you're done, simply flips right back into place where we have a nice C-Deck step pad on both sides so you're not walking on vinyl on your sun pad. So that's gonna be nice for the longevity of the materials. All right, also on the transom, we've got a cooler down here in the floor. We have a nice three step up into the interior. Nice low steps to lead us inside with a step down onto the rear seat. There are padded gunnels all the way around the boat, up in the front. So if you want to load from the side, you've got grippy surfaces to step on, so you're not gonna slip. Hopping down into the interior of the boat, you're gonna see a lot of really cool stitching accents all throughout in black, which looks in contrast really well over the red. Our seats. First off, we have a flip up starboard seat. If you want to flip this over to wake view seating. Our gunnels, or I'm sorry, our side combing area is gonna have your interior speakers lighted cup holders, phone holders, everything you can need, charging ports all right there, tucked away down the sides. Our back seat here in the middle slides on the track into a couple different positions, but we've got more wake view seating right here with a nice step pad there, even when you fold the seat out to where it's at now. When you're done, you can pick up on the handle there and slide it back into place. It does line up perfectly with your seat on the starboard side. And on the port side. Actually, let me just show you. We're in here, we might as well check it out. There we go. So nice big couch across the back, the back of the boat, basically. And then when you're done, you've got a lock right here. Press that. Flip it into place, and there you go. Now, both sides are gonna have similar storage compartments. I've got all of our fenders kind of stashed in here right now, but that's communicating storage into the back of the boat. All sea deck lined. We also have the extended aft sunshades where you're gonna see the poles for that have a nice mount for them underneath as well. We saw the table in the back there. That mounts here in the center. The table kind of sits right up in the middle of the boat. It's our beautiful stitching, Paragon embroidery on your love seat here. This is a nice, big, comfy love seat. 
flipping that open leads us into our storage compartment where we're going to have obviously a couple life jackets if i move that out of the way though um we've got our 12 inch jl sub amps of which there are four and our trash can and fire extinguisher two batteries sit down here underneath this floor panel for a little bit better weight distribution in the paragon but yeah tons of storage space in this thing we talked about our batteries this has a three battery setup so we our third battery is underneath the floor here with our ballast pumps bilge pump drain plug all that goes down there in the floor uh, we've got our cooler right here a little bit further forward so two coolers in the boat one in the step one there in the floor uh, before I go any further let's check out our engine we do have a power engine hatch so we're opening that right now this Paragon is equipped with the PCM ZZ8 motor um, this is a 6.2 liter 600 horsepower supercharged motor it's also direct injection it has so much power um, it gets this paragon right up on plane you're surfing at low rpms i think last time we were out we were at 2700 rpms at full ballast which is 2200 pounds it's a 7400 pound boat um, 2700 rpms at surf speed is pretty impressive so uh, this thing's super smooth, super quiet, has so much power, and you really feel it when you're driving. So there's your motor. I mentioned the JL subs earlier. You've got your wake subs in each corner over here. So those two, plus the sub we saw under the love seat, there's also a sub down here below the driver's feet for a total of four 12-inch subs on the Paragon, which is insane. This audio on this is nuts by far the craziest sound system I've heard from a stock boat and it sounds crystal clear you can push it to the limit um, and you have a lot of different adjustments to your stereo which is really nice as well um, while we're sitting here I'm folding down the engine hatch we're gonna take a look at our dash It is a dual screen setup the left side is pretty much stationary it's gonna show you all your vitals that you have going on uh, over here on the right side is your touch screen where you can control you know your wave settings you can do all your music, your ballast, your lighting, your uh, climate features. This is fully loaded with all the lighting you could get on the boat, all the climate features you can get. So you have a heated driver's seat, you have a heated love seat, you've got the pocket door air dam up there towards the bow. And then as you can see, we've already got all of our lighting turned on, but um, you can do everything through the screen. Telescoping tower, we've got two pairs of JL88 tower speakers. There's two speakers in each enclosure here. You can see we've got this beautiful vinyl embroidery on there and Nautique lighting, or Nautique logoed lighting rather. Our Bimini has this massive frame to it, super sturdy, throws a ton of shade. There are storage pockets on the underside and the rear corners here. And then up top on the roof, there are surf pockets, if you can see that. So you've got room for six boards on the tower if you include your vertical clamping board racks. Cool little details, Nautique backlit, logo on the driver's seat. We've got the leather wrapped steering wheel, which is a tandem spoke setup, which looks really nice. The driver's seat, bolsters up and down it is a power slide forwards and backwards for you and then down below there is a wireless phone charger down here in the storage shelf we've also got the big mirror mounted up top let me show you this power down animation while i'm in here so watch this if i hit uh, punch the code in the keypad got the lights that trail down as the boat turns itself off I think that's pretty cool you don't see that on anything else um, walking up into the front I mentioned the air dam boom thing slides in and out stows away when you're done 
You do have armrests up here in the bow, as well as a bow filler cushion. If you flip that over, it's C-decked on the underside, so you get a nice step out of the bow, which is handy for if you're trailering this thing. But look at that red. It looks a lot brighter when you get it out in the sun. Um, some, sometimes the photos make it look orange, but it is indeed very much red and not really orange at all. <laughs> But cameras don't pick that up perfectly sometimes. But up here, you got this really cool ergonomic seating with armrests on the outside, grab handle. And if you're facing towards the back, you also have this nice wraparound seating here, which is super comfy. Either way, if you want to face forwards, want to face backwards, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it on the Paragon. I know I missed probably little things here and there, but I just wanted to give you guys a... A quick look at the features, some of the cool touches that make the Paragon unique. Um, yeah, I'll just show you this specific boat with all the options and equipment we've got on it. You can always come in and check it out. It's in our showroom. You can reach us at 317 845 if you have any more questions about the Paragon. Give us a call. Swing by to check it out. Shoot us a text. Whatever you need. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching.